Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Vithli Ahane and welcome to Ruby! I'm at volume 4 episode 6 and also 7 in this video. So 6 is called Keeping Point and 7 is called Punished. Those are the ones I'm doing. Because yes, I'm doing double episodes now. Also, I'm a bit sick, so you have been warned. But let's go and watch this because I am... I have not watched Ruby in a while actually at this point. I was busy, I was sick and I had some other things and I kind of did not do Ruby in a pretty long time at this point so I'm excited to get back into it and yeah let's let's do this let's go to the video here we go and begin uh keep the intro we don't need to watch the intro now also I have to say there have been a few people saying either that they talk too much or that they, they miss some things some hints and stuff and I'm gonna say one thing right now I love to yap and secondly, I love to, I mean, I'm here to, you know, react to things, not make analysis videos. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. <laughs> another day, another adventure. What's on the agenda Nora. today? Nora! Walking. With a yeah. side of... Walking. <laughs> I mean, walking through nature is pretty fun, right? And this place looks pretty nice. Huh. What's wrong with walking? Come on, it's, it's healthy. It's a lot farther away than I thought. Ruby, how long did you think this journey was going to take? I love Ren's pink. Whatever those are even called. It's kind of weird, you know, compared to the rest of his outfit. The color is not anywhere close to the rest, but it, it, it like weirdly fits him. I don't know. I grew up in a small area. I've never been this far away from home. I mean, that explains something. Right, uh... but how long? Maybe like uh, two weeks. What? Okay, what? fine, three or something. But <laughs> whatever. It's hey, probably a long journey. What's, that? what's what? A village? Oh, Nora, I, I'm surprised that thing is not just falling apart with birds. I mean, just look at that. She's just like standing on it. It's just a one piece of wood. I mean, very bal very well balanced, Nora. I have to give you that. No, you're That's not even like strange. moving at all, not shaking at all. On I that. I didn't think we'd be hitting another village for a few days. Oh, it's not on the map? Are those buildings damaged? Oh. We should search for survivors. Yes, go! Wait, don't just drop the map. You could have just held on to it. Wait, is this a, an abandoned village? It looks like it's been like this for a while now. Or is it one that's in construction? Or is it one that was in construction and got abandoned before it was finished? What What, what is it? Let's see. It doesn't feel like it's... I mean, just look at the look at the structure of that house, for example. It doesn't feel like it was damaged. It feels like it was just not completed or something. If it was damaged, it would be damaged. But everything is just so symmetrical and just missing parts. But not actually look like it, it, you know, it was broken. It's so weird. What kind of attack would do something like... Like, Anything? make things so... Like, so... Perfectly symmetrical Don't damage. It almost seems like the town was abandoned. Yeah, that, that's what I said, yeah. It feels more like that than it actually being just destroyed. It looks like it's been like this for a while as well. Onyuri? 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 I don't know how to... I don't know. Aniuri. Aniuri. Uh, never heard of it. Me neither. Me neither. I have. Oh, friend. You might think of it as Anima's Mountain Glen, had it never been completed. So wait, you're telling me I was right. It's just that it was never completed. Years ago, the richest members of Mistral were unhappy with how the kingdom was being run. Frustrated with the council, they pooled their resources together to build their own city with their own laws. But they hoped that one day it could maybe even become its own kingdom. But there's a but coming. Many thought it would be the future. But I know my parents did. Oh, he's involved in this. His what parents happened? were. What always happens. Oh, there is there are still signs of Oh, wow. Oh. 
not just anyone. Oh, Ren? One? Wait. Come on. Let's just get through here. This place gives me the creeps. It looks like a ghost town. Ren? Maybe somebody should just, I don't know, give him a hug, grab his hand before marriage. I mean, it would be wrong, but you know what I mean. It, he kind of needs it. What the heck? <laughs> the music is going crazy for some reason. Oh, that's why. Why is and her singing? Oh, wow. Okay, I have to say, that was weirdly mixed. I, <laughs> it was beautiful, but it was weirdly mixed. Like, I don't know why, for some reason, it sounded, like, the voice sounded a tiny bit more, uh, like, more loud on one side of the headphones than the other. It was kind of weird, like, her voice. It was kind of weird. It made me, I don't know, it, it feels weird. It feels, we like, very weird and natural because of that. I don't know what, what, what that was about. But it was not that that obvious, but it was there. The father is not even gonna applause. The father. Why is he not applauding? Applauding. She's not happy. This is not the kind of thing she wants to do with her life, obviously. Oh, what a fancy place. Look at that RTX floor. Powered by NVIDIA. This, this mansion is powered by NVIDIA. RTX. I don't even have an RTX graphics card, by the way. I have a GTX 1650. <laughs> Precisely my point. We offer Fauna's the exact same wages given to the rest of our mining staff. Their argument's completely invalid right out of the gate. Well, uh -huh. I think the bigger issue here is our society as a whole. Yeah, she doesn't care about politics well, and you mean Atlas? nonsense. Atlas, Mantle, you can't deny the economic disparity between the two. I mean, what exactly are you suggesting? I'm just... Also, somebody told me in the comments that there's a theory that the father actually dyed his hair white to look more like the family, like the Schnee family. Because he's married into it, not actually you know, Shni himself by default. It would be kind of surprising, actually, for him to just randomly happen to be also white-haired and marry into a family of white-haired people. So that theory could have some merit to it. It could make sense. I guess you just don't really care that much if it's true or not anyway. So, yeah. Hey, I don't think it's necessarily oh, no. Where are you going? As much as it's one Away. I'm places. just a little thirsty. Sweetheart, we have people for that. What? No, I can get it. I'll be right back, I promise. Look, no one asked them to move here. But companies like the SDC promised jobs. I'm sorry, I tuned out for a second, but sounds <laughs> like I'm the good guy again. <laughs> I hate, I hate him already. He's too manipulative, like too controlling, and also just acts like a douche. Oh, you two match. Yes, it's a lovely painting. So, that was my attempt at breaking the ice. How am I doing so far? Very well. You are leaving a lot to be desired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's for I've sure. Always appreciated honesty. Henry Marigold. Henry Marigold. Interesting name. Why Schnee? 
As if you didn't know of that know. already. Yeah, nice <laughs> yeah. performance. Obviously. <clears throat> you were wonderful. And I promise I'm not just saying that because you're pretty. Kind of funny, this is the second blue haired guy that she attracted to her. <laughs> this is the second one. Honesty, remember? So, you thinking about buying it? No, I don't oh. think so. Why is he moving yeah, the thing? It's fidgety. Kind of pricey for a painting. It's not the best, that's not the raise problem. Money. Oh, really? For what? For what? <laughs> I'll admit, I only come to these things for the food and drinks. <laughs> and you know what? I mean, that's kind of base. Let's be honest. That's kind of base. <laughs> I would, if I, if like, if I was a noble, and I was invited to these things, that's the only reason I would go as well. I would not go there because I actually care about what's happening. I mean, sure, if I had money, I would help with whatever, like fundraising and charity and whatnot. Sure. But for the most part, the thing I would want is just to come for the food and drink. That's all. The extraordinary company, of course. And yeah, to meet some people. So what? Is it another mantle fundraiser or something? Get out. Yep. What? Okay, she's she's Get pissed. Get out, or I will have security escort you out. But I haven't done it. Leave. You know what the? <sighs> Whatever. You know what the crazy thing is. That she has to act like a noble here and be like, go or I will have security called on you. When we all know that if, he, if it was up to her with no repercussion, she would like to take him out herself. <laughs> she would love nothing more than to kick her, him right out that window herself at this point. <laughs> but she can't because she's in the middle of all these nobles and nonsense. Show the world we care. Oh, it goes to Vale. To Vale. Really? Does it come as any surprise what happened to Vale? It was a long time coming, if you ask me. Honey. What? 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 <laughs> you said the same thing last night. If they're so arrogant to think they can get by without proper kingdom defense, then I say good riddance. Shut up. <sighs> that guy. Yeah, he, he's just embarrassed for her to do this in the middle of all these people. And she's just going louder and louder instead of actually stopping, even when he, when he tried to approach her about it. And even if she was right that he actually did say the same thing, at least he's not trying to do it in the middle of all the people in public, like, like you are, acting like a damn Karen. <laughs> oh, now she's acting like the huntress that Watch. we all know her to be. Excuse yep. me. Yep, You're she's all going for it. Standing around talking about nothing, worrying about your hair, your money, your stupid problems that don't mean anything. Wise, that's enough. Let go of me. You're embarrassing the family. I said, let go. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, she actually summoned. She actually used the summoning. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um. I mean, I wanted to get her. I mean, I wanted to see her get smacked, but this is not exactly the perfect time and the, the, the way to do it. Is that uh, that uh, that? Oh wait, no. Who is that? Wait, it's him. Iron Wood is here. She's the only one making sense around here. But, I nice mean, shock. I he's looking more and more like a depressed man. Also, she did not even do that on purpose. That's the problem. That was a mistake. She did not mean to do that. <laughs> but at least she summoned something finally. I mean, she summoned an arm before and stuff, but this is the first time she summoned a full thing. A whole thing. A whole creature. What? Oh, not that guy. Oh, not that guy. That snake looking guy. I hate everything about this guy. Yep. Everything. He even runs like he has scoliosis or something. Is this gonna fight him already? You know, 
The problem is that the crazy ones are usually strong. Yep. <laughs> I hate him. He's making me laugh a little bit, but I hate him. We're not looking for a fight. Who are you? <laughs> Who I am matters not to you. Or you. Or well you do interest me. What? <laughs> why why him? No, I only matter to you. Me? I mean, he was sent after her, so I guess that's why. <laughs> you, you haven't the slightest clue, do you? Oh, how exciting this must be! <laughs> what do you want? The rose has thorns! <laughs> My little flower, I'm here to whisk you away with me. Well, what if she doesn't want to go with you? Well, I'll take her. We're not going to let you do that. Yes, John, there you go. Good. Oh, I kind of expected that to be the case. Him liking like that, actually. Can they actually beat this guy? He's kind of strong. Okay, that was horrible. Oh no. That was horrible. <laughs> he did not even need to take... I mean, two, two horrible things happened in one. She both missed him and got her own ally. That is so bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even I feel like laughing to that, to be honest. <laughs> what the heck? Well, if that isn't ironic. Oh, she's back. She's back. Oh wait, was that on purpose actually? I know she can use the like, electricity thing with her hammer. With her bonk. <laughs> oh, of course he has a scorpion tail. Of course he has a damn scorpion tail, this bastard. Surprise! <laughs> or was that just his hair looking like one? No, his hair was at the top, but there's also that coming from his ass, so I think he has, actually has a, a, a tail. Oh, I mean, he's a faunus, maybe, so I guess that's why. A faunus? Oh, there we go. Yeah, he is. <laughs> what is this about? The White Fang? Roman Torchwick? Plastic soldiers and pawns. My heart and body belong only to our goddess. Cinder. <laughs> Only in her wildest dreams. I thought he was gonna say no, the other one, the, the, the very white and scary looking, non humanoid looking one, not Cinder. Where? Crow? Is he coming? I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot he's even a thing for a second. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, why was that glowing? Pro? I guess they are not ready for the mini bosses yet, or bosses or whatever, you know, they are the, the, the main ones. Ahaha, <laughs> but the big boy is here now! The guardian angel looking over their shoulder is here now! I mean, he's winged like, like an angel, but he's a crow! He's a bird! Oh, wait, that's the end? Oh, that's the end. Okay, well, we can go to the next one then. Uh, give me a second. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um. 
Keep intro. And here we go. Let's do this one more. We are not done with this yet. This Arthur, boy again. Supper's almost ready. Arthur. What are we having? I'm getting. I'm getting Red Dead Redemption flashbacks. I never agreed to these terms. It's part of the <laughs> living under my roof contract. Read the fine print and come wash up. Ah, uh, the parents are pulling that on the children. Like, <laughs> it's yeah, I made you. Or it's my house. You live under my rules. <laughs> Funny enough, that does, that that didn't really happen with my parents. At least, maybe when I was a child, but. Other than that, not really. I cannot tell how old this one is. We have to leave. Do we though? Oscar. Wait, who's we? Oscar. Wait, Oscar? Wait, Oscar? I thought you said Arthur. I thought she said Arthur for some reason. Oscar? That's actually the name? Imagine imagine this guy winning an Oscar. He has to be like, and the Oscar goes to Oscar! <laughs> I've decided you're not real, so you might as well just give up. The voice is in his head. I understand how you're feeling. I went through the same panic and confusion. That's Aspin, right? That sounds like Aspin to me. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. I can assure you, you are perfectly sane. I'm talking to a voice in my head. I didn't say you were normal. I said you were sane. There's quite a significant difference. Shut up! You think this is funny? It's not. Imagine the parents hearing that and being like, "What the heck?" That matter, I promise you. Believe me, I wish this weren't the case. But as I've told you, our aura, what? Our souls are combined. How did that happen? I'm to you. Have you ever been to Haven? I told you I'm not going, and I told you I'm done listening. Do you think you could describe the Headmaster's office? No, why would I know that? I've never seen- Try. Right now. Ah, but because they are combined, he would know- he would know it's that. It's probably- It's- It's Sodom colored. With a large mahogany desk. There's a small table and chairs in the corner for guests. With a tea set that... I... I gave him. Why did I say that? Why do I know that? Why did I say that? Because I helped build that school. And the tea set was a gift to the man running it now. So it... Tough. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. If I recall, your aunt has several books on Mistral downstairs. I'm certain you could find a picture in one of them. That... that's right. I must have seen it in a picture. Oh no, he's... Oscar, gaslighting stop stuff now. Me. Gaslighting. I have grave responsibility to uphold. We both do. I never agreed Damn. to anything. Actually, that's a good point. The child is not like no, you didn't. at fault for anything. And neither did I at first. But you do have an opportunity. For what? Yeah, for Greatness, what? Hopefully. Greatness in knowing that when the world needed help, you were the one to reach out your hand. It won't come without hardship, without sacrifice. But I know you don't want to live the rest of your life working as a farmhand in Misrul. So you just decided to read my thoughts? Oh, I, I mean that is kind well, of evasive. They're our thoughts now. Uh, are they gonna? My head! Are they gonna be a split personality Arthur, thing, or are they just gonna morph the, into one into one being at some point? Hands. I feel like yeah, this is the kind of conversation you might want to have after supper, not before. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Do you have any idea what your stunt cost us? I... And don't think I'm just talking about Lien here. Our reputation. Our... Our... I really don't want to listen to this guy ramble right now. <laughs> I want to leave. I beg your pardon. 
I said I want to leave. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to stay in Alice anymore. Young lady, I don't give a damn about what you want. Oh, this that's even about worse. You. This is about the Schnee family name and your apparent insistence on dragging it through the mud. I have done nothing but fight to uphold the honor of my family name. A name that you married into. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I did not see that coming. This behavior of yours is incredibly disappointing. You couldn't possibly understand the lengths I've gone to in order to keep this family where it is. You think running off like your sister is going to make the Schnee name stronger? You're wrong. Siding with her only divides us. I'm not siding with anyone. I'm doing what I feel is right, and that does not include wasting my time up here with these clueless people in Atlas. The Schnee I... family legacy isn't yours to leave. It's mine. And I'll do it as a huntress. No, you won't. You're not leaving Atlas. You're not to leave the manor grounds unless I specifically allow it. I don't like where this is going at all. Everything about this, I hate. You are going to remain here, out of sight and out of trouble, until you and I come to an agreement on your future. I mean, he can just keep her here, right? That's... There's no way. What? what? Your presupposition that you can simply have whatever it is you want is a clear sign of our failure as parents. But from now on, I'll be giving you the full attention you require. Starting by keeping you where I can see you. You can't just keep me from leaving. I can, and the staff here will make sure of it. So now I'm just your prisoner? You are my daughter. You're a child. And children are grounded when they misbehave. This is only going to make things worse, Father. People will ask questions. They'll want to know why the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company is suddenly nowhere to be found. Which is why you are no longer the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company. What? Excuse me? What? Clearly, the trauma you endured at the fall of Beacon was too much for you. Which is why you've generously revoked your claim to the company and its earnings. Passed them on to your brother, Whitley. I didn't... What? I did not expect that. At all. Him doing that... Okay, you know what? I knew that I hate him from, like, the start. But at this point, it's just excessive. At this point, he's just... Like, how can he get any worse from here? Is it, is, it, like, is it even possible to get any worse than this? It's time to wake up and face reality. I mean, does, does she... Does Weiss even care about the company, really? Was that guy smiling like a creep? I think he was. Can they really keep her here, though? Can she just break out if Wait, she wants to? Yes, sister? Did you know about this? About what? You never liked Winter. You never liked me. But you've been nothing but supportive since the moment I came back. If being kind to my big sister is some sort of crime. Why is he glowing? <laughs> Just look at the conference between her and him. She's, I mean, he's literally glow glowing. What the heck? Then I suppose I'm guilty. You wanted this to happen. It's foolish not to do as father asks. I can't believe you. Don't worry, Weiss. The Schnee family name is in good hands. Your twigs! Can you even call those hands? Your arms are like twigs. They are gonna break the moment any weight falls on them. Can you really carry, carry the weight of this whole family and company, really? I don't think you can, buddy! I mean... Can she just, like, get in contact, like, in contact with her sister or something? At least to get her out of here. What is she doing? Huh? What? 
what is she gonna train to become strong enough to do something or what there's certainly a plan here oh back back to this as i live and breathe crow bronwyn <laughs> a true huntsman has entered the fray I don't know. This guy's weird. <laughs> Look, pal, I'm not sure who you are, but you need to leave my niece alone. <laughs> Why, friend, my name is Tyrion, and I'm afraid that is not possible. Oh, and remember before he said that who, like who he is doesn't matter to them, but now that Crow is here, now he's actually giving his like his name. My assignment from her grace was to retrieve this young girl. That is what I must do. One does not upset the queen. Queen? Salem. Salem, that was the name, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we've had enough talk now, don't you? You took the words right out. <laughs> oh, not even gonna let him finish the sentence. I mean, I mean, Crow wins these, right? This kind of battles, for sure. Oh! He has the power advantage, I think. I feel like Crow has the power advantage while the other guy has a crazy advantage. You know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Creepy. Closer. Yeah, just let him do it. Oh, uh, she has a plan? Ruby, they are too fast. They are too fast for you right now. <laughs> yeah, to actually get a shot. Oh, I mean, they have some moves though. Look at them. Oh no, that's a problem. What now? He doesn't even have to look. He can just block with his tail without even looking. That's something, alright. I have to say. That that's uh something. Piss? <laughs> Yeah, but I love a fist fight. <laughs> Just gonna walk with his weapon like that. Yep. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I just, I love how agile these characters are. Like the fight, the fight in this season, in this volume are crazy already. Just look at this. Like the quality is insane. Did she just skate on her scythe? What the, what? Oh. Oh. What the heck was that? Wait, the same thing that happened when he kicked Ruby before is happening on Crow now. Does he build some kind of something on the people he kicks? Or what's happening? Oh, he's glowing too, actually. Ruby! Did you wish to be taken? No, but I won't stand by and watch someone get hurt! Oh, I mean, she's pretty good herself. Ruby, what did I say? Get back! Uh. This is fight, fight, too! 
No, it's not that. It's... The, the what then? If not that, then what is it? What is it? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, that's poison probably. Oh, that's probably poisoned. Oh no. That's what you would call a problem, right? <laughs> and that's exactly why he said for you, Ruby, to not get in the way, because you are still not as experienced as he is to deal with these problems. I um, mean, at least you cut the tail, but yeah, there's this poison. That's, that's for sure. You bitch. Oh, wow. Not the language I expected to hear. It's gonna run, huh? We don't have an anchor, though. Are you okay? I'll be fine. He just grazed me. Poison. Poison. How did you get here? Why are people after Ruby? Or Venom or whatever. Uncle Crow, what's going on? I feel like you're past the point of, What's you know, your favorite fairy tale. Not explaining. <sighs> oh, wait, that's the end. Fairy tale? Uh, I don't know. I don't know too many of them. So I feel like I'm not the best to pick one at that point. <laughs> but yeah, I did not expect Pro to get poisoned at the end. That's gonna be a problem. Because. How do we deal with that? In the middle of nowhere. They have to reach at least a town or something to be able to do that. Or, I don't know. Maybe he has medical experience. Maybe he knows what kind of plans to get to heal that. I don't know. But anyway. This was... Damn, this was good. I really enjoyed seeing those animations. The fighting animations got so good with this volume. So smooth, so over the top and crazy. So, so nice. And... I'm very pissed by the thing with Voice and her father. I don't even know, like, I hate generally a lot of like these, uh, you know, these nobles in so many fantasy settings, because obviously just like here they look so corrupt and, or like power hungry or stuff like that. But Weiss's father is certainly, you know, at the top of the douches of douches. So there is that. I really hope she does something, or at least her sister or somebody do something. Or Ironwood even, because he's there too. But yeah, we'll see. For now, that's it, so thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed watching it, punch the like button with everything you have, and have a great day or night. But for now, farewell, and bye-bye!